Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. Today we are back on my Stranger Things world and uh, we are actually back from my hiatus for two weeks. It is so good to be back uploading, I can't tell you how much I miss actually bringing you guys some content and being able to see you enjoy it. Um, it has been, yeah, it, it's felt like three years, not just two weeks, so <laughs> I am glad to be back. So yeah, we're outside of the rink o -mania today and we're going to begin building this one. So we do have Argyle's Surfer Boy Pizza Van here today as well. Uh, I'm not going to teach you guys how to build this one in this video because, of course, I've already done a tutorial on it. You can find that out on the channel. There is a link in the description where you can go and build that pizza van over there. So, yeah, go and check it out for sure. Over on the inside, if you haven't seen the tour of the Rinko Mania, definitely go and check it out. This is what we're going to be doing. So much to do. There is so much to build. It is going to take a few episodes. I'm not sure how many just yet. Hoping it's not going to be like up to 20. I don't think so. <laughs> um, but it's going to be so much fun. And I'm really looking forward to getting this started. So uh, yeah, let's just crack on with the build. Let's get started with the exterior today. All right then, assassins. Before we do get started with our construction, if you want to go ahead and build yourselves a giant rectangular grid, such as this one around my Rinkomania, then I highly recommend doing so. As you can see, I've already prepped the one for the tutorial. Um, I wouldn't normally do stuff like this, but I think it might be for the best with these bigger builds uh, that we end up doing a grid. This goes along the corridor just here by about 20, sorry, 20? No, <laughs> definitely not 20. 92 blocks along from end to end. And then up here we have ourselves 67. Bear in mind to get the 67, you have to count from the first one of your 92 just here. And then you work up to 67 along this way. Everything within this grid is going to be where we're going to build. So we do have a little bit of a space at the back, like a one block sort of line, and that is going to need be needed as well for this uh, kind of stuff at the back there. So um, yeah, it's really good to get these grids going and then we can actually uh, make sure we get everything in the exact space it should be. So that is awesome. Once you've done this, then we're good to go. Let's get some materials and get started. So to begin, I have grabbed myself some gray concrete powder, some gray concrete, some normal stone, some gravel, andesite as well, and then some light blue and some white concrete. We're firstly going to mark this all out just so we have a bit of a reference and then we can uh, you know, go from there and kind of complete stuff. So we'll start from this bottom left corner. We'll place ourselves a concrete powder here. Oh, what I should mention by the way guys, before I forget, is the concrete powder and the grey concrete I have here are my road materials. So if you're building Hawkins and you have your own road materials, Definitely go ahead and use those instead of my ones. Awesome. Okay, so here we've got that grey concrete just there, or your road material. My grey concrete is going to go in here. That's powder, obviously. <laughs> then we'll take five grey concrete powders, like so. And we'll do one just there, just to mark out later. So this is all the road. And then we want the pathway to start. So we're going to do a white concrete just here. We'll build this white concrete up until we have two, three, four five and six like so then on the sixth one up here I'm gonna to go to the right I'm gonna take my stone my andesite and my gravel wrong way around and we're gonna go ahead and just kind of alternate these to build six so I'll do myself maybe gravel two stone in here like so one single andesite just on the end there and remember to make yourselves six so that should be six in there perfect good stuff then we'll take our white concrete place a single one just here We'll go three blocks away and build three blue. One, two, three blue. Make sure it's three blocks away. Then we'll go this side and build four blocks away. One, two, three, four. And place one. Then we'll do three again. And placing another three blue. Then we'll leave a two block gap. One, two. And place just two. Then we'll leave a three block gap. And we'll place three. Then on this blue one, We'll go ahead and place one, two, three away, a single last blue just here. And then we want 13 white concretes. So we're going to go one, two, three again, one, one, two, three again, one. And I'm going to speed this on because it's quite a long process. But remember to keep the threes going. One, two, three. That's the third one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And our 13th should be at the edge of the border like so. Now, of course, this isn't going to be what it looks like. This is going to be some parking spaces in a second. So we're going to now backtrack a little bit and actually uh, figure this all out and finish it up nicely. So coming from the top of this white concrete, 
We'll build this down for a second one. We'll go diagonally to the left and build two. Diagonally to the left again and build a final two. This one will then connect up to this side, just like so. And then we can fill all this in with our stone and our andesite and uh, gravel later on. For now, we'll just leave that empty. Let's get the spaces done first. The next thing to do is to go ahead and build another three blue just here. Then we'll come to this one just here and we'll build down for three. One, two, three. And fill that in so it's like a big T. Then we want to go to the left side for three. One, two, three. And that will leave a three block gap between the blue and the white concrete. Below this one, we'll build three again. So that will leave that corner. And then here in this little gap to end up and kind of finish up that T, we'll build in two. So it's no longer a T. And then we'll build two just here as well. So again, you have three locks between the blues and the white, like so. Cool. Nice diagonal parking space in there, like so. Now for the single one, we just want to go for two, two, and two. Oops. All diagonals. No, none of them connect up. So apart from obviously this one, we have a little gap down here. Uh, and this one is going to be worth four blocks in width because it is a handicap or disabled parking space. And so we need to have like a bit of room on this side for our wheelchair to come out. Good stuff. Now we want to build a little cross hatch again for a walkway and also for any uh, disabled people. So we're going to go ahead and make this into a, a bit of a uh, cross hatched area. So from this top side, we can go for one, two down on the left. We'll build one on here and we'll go one to the left side with one down. Then here we'll go diagonally to the left and we'll go two. So that's going to leave that three block space. Here we'll go one, two, three and four. And in the middle of the four, build two. Then up diagonally to the right, we're going to go one, two, three along. Then we're going to go up from these two, leaving this space and going up to this one, building in two. Drop down diagonally here and build another two. Up diagonally here for three. Down diagonally from the two again to build three. Down diagonally to the uh, sort of middle here and build two again. And then we can actually bring this one along. Oops, my bad. Sorry about that. So that this one is all going to be sort of connecting up here to uh, to fill in this space. So we build this one along to that three there. Then once we have the end of the three here, we come up to this corner. We'll build this one down for one. We'll build in a corner shape just here. And then we'll build in one, two just in here. I'll fly up just so you can see. So this is what we need just in here like so. Lovely. Now we want to go ahead and get the final blue parking space done over here. So we'll go for two, two again, and a final two on the left side like so, leaving three block gaps between the space like so. Now every single white parking space is the exact same. So all these row markings are the same way around. They all go diagonally down to the left. So you can just do this on your, on your own. You got this. It's going to be awesome. We can get all 13 of these lines in here, these really wonky lines, <laughs> then uh, we have ourselves a car park. So get this done guys and then we'll be right back. Wonderful, so now that we have ourselves the car park in here like so, we can then take ourselves our gravel, uh, sorry, our concrete powder and our concrete or your road materials and you want to mark out just like the grid basically for it. So everything in line with the top of the parking spaces, so every single gap within the uh, central grid there and everything is going to be all needing to fill forward to the front side of our red grid. So if we get this marked out then I'll show you. So everything from this little gap, uh, gap, like this little trench, all the way to the front here and all the way to this side. Bearing in mind to leave this space empty for our stone, gravel and our andesite, which you can actually do now if you want to. That might uh, save you a job and get less confusing as well. So let's go for the stone here. I'm just going to do this randomly to be honest, it doesn't need to be all fancy or anything. So as long as you have a bit of a mixture between all these materials, then we can really just kind of build it however we want to. Like so. Yeah, lovely. Good stuff. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and alternate between our grey concrete powder and our grey concrete, including these grass parts here, and building in this entire road space. If you need a reference, feel free to pause around about Ooh, roundabouts now and this will give you a good idea of what to do. Let's go for it guys. 
Now we have finished the probably most grindiest section of this tutorial. Honestly, building roads in Minecraft is so troublesome, especially if you're trying to make them look realistic. It just takes such a long time. Um, but anyways, we have done that now, so that is out of the way. We're going to go ahead and take ourselves our stone, our gravel, and our andesite mostly. We're going to go ahead and use ourselves uh, these materials to build a pathway. So the pathway is going to run, of course, from this side of the building, um, and then it will run all the way to the right side, where it will then end kind of, uh, you know, off of the car park and everything. So we're going to start next to one block of white concrete, and we'll go ahead and do the same as what we've been doing before. So we're going to alternate between our andesite, our stone, and our gravel. I recommend once you get past this first um, white concrete here, you can kind of forget the gravel because it looks a bit messy. So you can go ahead and use just your andesite and your stone. I'm just going to switch these around so I can make it easier for myself. There we go. Right. And then uh, we just kind of alternate this all the way along until we reach the big grid part of our of our road here. So this part just here. And when we do get to that stage, we can then go ahead and start to build the entranceway. So we'll go, the first block will be normal, as we have here. The second block will go up like this. Then there'll be a third block up like that. So three blocks going up from the blue. Then this will end as we get to the other side of the blue. So the third one, so the third kind of blocks back. Uh, on this side, it's only going to be two, actually, just like so. Um, which means probably, oh, no, no, it's three. Yeah, just saw that wrong. And then we'll do two this side as well. And then we'll continue with the one just there. So it's in the middle of this parking space just here where we stop it. So let's build this area laid out just so it's all nicely prepared for us. Kind of get rid of all these grass blocks. And then we can alternate with our two materials here. Just going to do it randomly, just going to speed it up a little bit. Obviously, you can make this look nicer than what I'm doing here. But just to show you, we just kind of go a bit crazy with it. And then we can alternate our different materials here like this. And if you find you have too many materials in the same sort of area, and it doesn't look like a mixture, then of course change it up. Wicked. And then once we, uh, we've done that, we can go a little bit further along, and we want to go to our third and fourth parking space uh, with our white concrete. So we'll go right the way along. That's one, two, there's three, and here's the fourth one. So we're going to stop here. So we just do a one block row of pathway up until these three and four uh, fourth car parking spaces. We'll go to the third one here, and we'll build up to a second one. And on the fourth one, we'll do the same. Then we'll build in for three just here. And then we'll build into a four just there. One, two, three, four, up to that point there. And that will be one of the fire exit doors that we, uh, we've we kind of marked out on the outside, but it doesn't actually go to a door. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then this will go along again. And then this one will actually go to the seventh parking space. So this is number four, remember? Five, six, and on seven, which is that one just here, we're going to build ourselves another one. This will be directly in the center of the uh, the door. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Then we'll do three, both sides, two on both sides. And then, of course, it goes back into the ones like so. So there you go. Between these doorways, by the way, there is going to be a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if you didn't get the car parking spaces kind of correct there, if you make sure you have that nine between the two doors, then your building will be in the right spot. And you can change the car park afterwards. Good stuff, guys. Now, running down to the end with our stone and kind of pathway here, and the pathway, we'll go right to the end parking space. And on this final one, we'll go up for three blocks, two, three, and then we'll just add in one there as well. Now, we'll fill this all in with our alternating between our stone and our andesite, and then we'll get back to some more important details. Let's go for it. It really looks like we're building a mosaic. Um, of course, <laughs> that's not what we're going for, but it is looking really good, and that is the main thing. So, uh, great job, guys. If we want to come down to the left side of the building now, so over here, where we have that right, uh, that white concrete kind of pathway, uh, we want to build this up a little bit more with our stone on our andesite. We're actually going to take our white concrete until the second to last block in our grid. So we'll go to this one just here. So this one right here. Fill this all in with your white concrete. And this will give us like a, a bit of a base and a marker for everything next. Now then beyond the pathway, so obviously beyond this area that we already have, we're going to build ourselves in and up to the third, first row of white. So just here. So that's five blocks in total. Then we'll come out for a four. 
we're going to match where the building will be basically. So we'll do four just here. That's looking good. Then we'll do three, like so. And then on this three, on the top one, it's going to go into one, two, and three. So it kind of goes back a bit more uh, into the building shape. And we have this sort of corner shape here that we need to keep in there. So we're building our, obviously our pathway materials in here. Make sure everything is marked out correctly. So we have this strange shape just in here. Now it's not going to be strange for too long because we're going to add in another block here. And then we're going to go from here onwards. And we're actually going to build ourselves three from this point just here. This one there. Uh, this will be for our kind of left side of the building and obviously where we have those pillars that go up the side of the wall as well. We're kind of making these kind of rivets I guess. But we're going to do it all the way along just so it's not as troublesome. So um, we'll go ahead and... You know what? No, actually, we'll do it. We'll do it the correct way. That'll be actually quite good. So we have this one block that's going to be for the building, this one block that's for the building, and this is one of the rivets. Another rivet will go here, and so on and so forth. So we're going to mark out the spaces that we will need. So we need this one in here, this riveted area. Then we don't need a rivet there because, of course, that's going to be for the building. Then we'll add in a rivet just here, like so, and then so on and so forth. Almost like we're building a castle. Just going up this way. So we leave a little gap after each and every one. So there's never like more than a one block gap on each thing. You can probably hear Retro in the background by the way. <laughs> he, uh, he's been having a good day. Right, so almost there. Once we get to the end, that is of course when we stop, there is no more to do. So we just get to this end side. If I show you, it is going to be the exact same as... Uh, as a kind of concrete here so we literally end it on one of the building parts just like so now should have ended on a two i believe we did indeed that's good so the two here we just come to the end and we just add in ourselves the uh, the white concrete there and now we'll go ahead and add in ourselves our stone and our andesite for the entire path in here let's get it done guys all right then guys we're going to take ourselves these materials and we're going to crack on with the building we'll crack ourselves out some <laughs> what, uh, white terracotta some sand some smooth sandstone slabs, some bone blocks, some light grey stained glass panes, some jungle fences, some blue terracotta, and then finally some quartz bricks as well. As you can see behind me, that is the wall we're going to be building right now. So we need to get this done quite well, obviously. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We'll take some white terracotta just here, after the pathway. Then we'll place a sand block just next to that one. And then we're going to build ourselves some white terracotta pillars. Now then, we're going to build these up for 11 blocks in height. I really hope that transition was good because I completely forgot. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like so. And then we're going to go back into the building here. I'm going to kind of match up a wall behind this one. So we're going to do a three block wall just for the time being. But this is going to come right the way back to the back of the build. We'll do another one just here. Actually, we'll add in these rivets first. I think that'll be the best thing to do. So we'll do another one. And we're going to do spaces away all the way until we reach the very end. So this does take quite a long time. This is quite a grindy section. Remember to build yourself these one block pillars going up to 11 blocks in height. So like so. And we're going to do this, like I said, all the way until we reach the very second to last block just here. Is it the very second to last block? Yes, it is. So the second to last block is where we need to end it. So we can actually mark that all together. Just this one here in our grid. Let's get all these done, guys. A space away from one another. And then we're going to build the wall behind it. But don't build any more wall just at the moment. Let's get these done. So there we go. I don't know about you guys, but this is really reminding me of Hawkins Lab. I just think the, uh, the sort of riveted walls, they really remind me of the grind we had to do for Hawkins Lab as well. Crazy. There's elements to this build that remind me of so many different builds I've already done, which is kind of cool, but also a little bit of uh, worrying nostalgia because some of those I did fail. <laughs> Let's get on here and build this one along until we reach that very last pillar down here. This one just here. Uh, on this side, we can build it up, so straight to the, the back of the 11th wall. Not 11th wall, you know what I mean. 11, 11 blocks high. I don't know how many pillars there are here, but it's not necessary to know because... Luckily, we have this grid to kind of help us out. Now, before we build any more wall on that side, if we come back to our pillars from the front, we'll count in five blocks back. One, two, 
three, four, and five. So on the fifth pillar, we want to go to the ground here. I'm going to go ahead and go behind this, so the wall just here. I'm going to place myself a blue terracotta. Now this blue terracotta is going to go along to the 14th pillar. So where we have pillar number five, which is this one just here, we'll go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and on 14, we'll go ahead and stop this wall just there like so. So we'll build this all in, and then we'll do a layer of quartz bricks. Oops, there we are. And then we'll do four layers of our blue terracotta again. And now this is actually gonna be for the rink itself. So on the inside, this is all the back wall of the Rinkomania. And it actually has the banner on it that says Rinkomania. So that is pretty exciting. So we need to get this done for sure. So there we go, four blocks in there like so. And then the remainder of the materials above are just the exact same as before. Now I will mention that we're gonna build just the block down. So for this back wall, we'll build the block down from all the pillars. So on the 10 basically. So this wall back here is worth 10 blocks in height. That is just so that we can add in some uh, slabs later. And then they will sort of complete up the roof for us and make it look really cool. And like a proper business roof. <laughs> Which I know sounds really odd, but you know they've got like the air cons on top and all that sort of stuff, like the air conditioning units. So that's what we want to try and add in later. So now let's fill this all in. And then we have one wall of the Rinko Mania complete. If we can get all four walls done today, and maybe even the roof, then that will be a very successful video. We'll see how we do. That road didn't take too long. Uh, it definitely was a long time off camera because, like I said, filling in the tarmac is always a problem. But there we go. That is all completed now. We have a little bit of a wall sticking through there, but that's not a problem because luckily these things kind of darken the blocks behind it. So uh, we're all good to go there. I say we get the, uh, let's get the front side done next. So now then, lucky for us, where we did the pathway, of course we left space for the blocks that are going to be in here. So we had in one block just in here with our white terracotta. Then we'll do this corner just here. And then a block here as well. Besides that one, all of these are going to be worth two blocks in height. And now we'll start one block in height again along here. We'll build this one along until we reach where the uh, path comes in. And then we'll place one block higher on this side just here. We'll build in two blocks back in there. We'll rush across to the other side over here and we'll do the same sort of thing. So we'll go two and then two again. And then we'll start to build ones again here until we reach this corner. So this one will be just ones until there. And then this one, it goes back into another one just up here on the fourth one where we build in one, like so. Cool. So there's gonna be like two blocks of sandstone back here, but we don't have that at the moment, so that's not a worry. We do have sta uh, some sand though, so we're gonna go ahead and build in sand right the way across here. Then we'll come to this one just here and we'll build upwards for two. And then we'll build this one along to that block there and fill in the sand in here as well. Now for this little garden sort of area, we wanna take ourselves smooth sandstone slabs and place two in here, one there, and then we'll start to do like an alternating pattern until we reach the other side over here to that one block over there in the corner. These will also accommodate, accommodate? Yeah, accommodate the uh, stained glass that goes in between them. So we can actually place that afterwards. We'll get that a little bit later on. So we're gonna to go to the other side of this one and we'll do the same. So we'll do two with one at the back there. We'll add in another one here and then we'll rush this one along to the other side here where we'll do the same thing as the previous one. So we'll go two up on the back one. We then wanna take ourselves a bunch more sand in between these. So it's gonna be three rows of sand filling into this kind of half moon segment. And then we're gonna take ourselves a smooth sandstone slab again, doing the diagonal alternating pattern that we've done before. Cool, and you should have like five slabs kind of on the front here. Lovely. Then we'll go to the other side and we'll do the exact same thing again. So another block up there one and then this one will go right the way along to the end adding in another uh, another block there even and then we'll do sand from this one here right the way to this one and then fill in these three rows where we'll then add in ourselves these smooth sandstone slabs to create the effect of like a miniature garden just here i'm not really sure what this is on the um on the real one that i found on google earth 
to build this exterior, I, uh, I kind of had to look at, like, it was probably from about here. Because for some reason, the Google car didn't go, like, the entire way around the car park. Because there is a road that goes entirely around the building. So um, we only had, like, up to, like I said, it was up to about here. So I really had to kind of um, zoom in quite a bit and just wing it, I guess. But winging it is kind of my thing, so not to worry about that. Well, that is really good, guys. That looks so good. So the next thing to do will probably be building the wall that goes behind this. Now, I'm going to go double check my dimensions and things. But, um, yeah, we, can, we got this. It's going to be great. Now then, guys, before we crack on with the front, I've just grabbed myself some stone. Just some plain and simple stone for a couple more like, bits of pathway. So over here on this one, we're going to go back to this three over here. We're building this three going upwards to the ten that we had before. It's going to be 11 on this one, but then 10 on these two. So we have two already, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's where we stop for these two. But of course, this one is a pillar. So we add in that 11th block to match up with the, uh, the other pillars that we've got on both sides. Perfect. Now we can leave these two because they're going to be just for the main entrance area. They go right the way down that side. We can, however, build an across with the top two blocks. I think it's only the top two, which is fine. So we can just build these right the way along the entire sort of front garden area that we haven't filled in with sand, and then across where the main entrance is, where the pathway is too. And then you'll see where we get to the other side because we'll start to uh, kind of go past all the sandstone stuff and build the wall again. So the wall is going to start right here, so behind those two slabs that we built in before. We'll build this right up, and that is in line with it, and then we'll connect these along just to there like so. Of course we'll fill in all this afterwards, but for now it's just saves a bit of time and hassle. So let's build this along just to the door there. For the actual door we'll take some bone blocks, and we'll build in two like so. And these are going to be for our door frames, so we'll just kind of build around these like this. Plain and simple. And we'll do the same over this one, one, two, and then we'll build over it once again to incorporate into the wall. What I will say is if you want to add in your stone or Anderson, Anderson, <laughs> Anderson, Andersite even, you can for the pathway just in here. Epic. And then we'll build the wall to connect to the other side of the wall, just over here. And then all of these blocks will be going up to 10 blocks in height. So remember to use your 10 blocks here and 10 blocks on the other side to build in this wall. Let's get it all done guys, and then we'll get back to the tutorial. So now we've built up that wall at the front there, we can then come down to where we're going to build the pillars in here. So you already know that we've left the gaps for them, so you can just add in the pillars once we have the main wall in here. Of course the main wall will go right next to the pathway, and right the way along here. And it's going to stop just as we reach ourselves the final kind of block of white concrete here. All of these blocks, remember, will go up to 10 blocks in height. And then each of the pillars will be 11 blocks in height. It's good to remember this anyways because we will have probably more tutorials in the future with this sort of setup. Because it is a really big building. It is kind of like a warehouse really. Just with a uh, skating rink on the inside and then, well a roller rink even, on the inside and then a bunch of kind of little buildings as well. Very cool. Quite a complex thing as well. So let's just go ahead and build these upwards to the 10 like this I tell you what I'm actually really looking forward to editing this video today because I am um, recently I've been saving up for a long time I kind of only just managed to get my like funds together for a laptop which I can do my editing on so um, if I have to go out anywhere or go on holiday or anything I will not have to go on holiday <laughs> you know what I mean if I was to go on holiday, then uh, at least I could do my editing away as well, because I really do like it, and it is good fun. So, um, yeah, and also I can practice now, so I can try my best to get more professional and bring you guys the very best content I have to offer. So, um, yeah, new beginnings, I guess. So if we get this all done, I'm going to leave you guys to do the rest, because it's only up to this one just here. So this 11th one. Sorry, 11 blocks high, not 11th one. Then we'll fill in these ones with our pillars again, going up to 11 blocks high. Let's go for it. All right guys, so I've done a quick hot bar refresh. So I just want to walk you through what I've got here. 
We've got some white terracotta, of course, once again. We've got some jungle fences, some light grey stained glass panes, some crimson doors, some blue terracotta, some smooth quartz block, some warped hyphae or hyphea, some polished dorite slabs, and some lightning rods as well. Kind of the first time using a lightning rod, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But um, in the tutorial, would be cool if it is. The debut of the lightning rod. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome tale. Right, we'll go down to the left side of the building if we're facing the back of it. Or we want to go to this side where we built that kind of fancy wall. So now we'll take some white terracotta. We will go to this one. And we're going to count ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And on 12, we're going to build ourselves a 45 block long row of blue terracotta. We're going to do this nice and slowly just in order to not mess up. But if you do need to go that back and double check this, I definitely recommend doing so. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. We will do this blue terracotta for two rows, two layers even, of 45 like so. Then we'll go ahead and build ourselves a smooth quartz block kind of row up above here. And then we'll end it off with four rows of warped hyphae. So four layers of this stuff. Makes a really spongy sound, kind of sound, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's two layers, three, very, very long wall, this one. And then a fourth one up here. And this is going to be for the locker side of the Rinkomania, so this is where the lockers will be on the inside. And this just adds a bit of extra detail for the interior. So now we'll build this one along with our white terracotta for 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now on 11 and 12 will be where our doors are going to be. You can use just white terracotta in the floor here then add in some crimson doors with the handles facing one another for the back doors like so. Now then we're going to build all the white terracottas up and around the wall that we built here. Uh, all the way up to the tenth layer of course, like the rest of our walls. So we'll just build this one along and then fill the rest in afterwards. And then after that one we can kind of add in some other details and then call it a day. So now fill in the remainder of this back wall guys, just this area here all the way in here and then along this wall as well up to that tent flare. So now that we've filled in this entire wall guys we're going to take our jungle fence here and our light grey stained glass pane. We'll go to the actual main building here so not the pillar the actual main building. On the roof section just the top two blocks basically we want to build two jungle just here. Now we're going to do this until we reach the 21st block and the 24th block um, of our uh, I think it could be of our 45 just in here. So when we go ahead and like do this, so let's go ahead and just alternate these two. They're going to be a space away by the way. Sorry, I completely forgot to mention. Just a block away from one another. So when we get like really far in to the blue here, we're just going to count this. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And on the 21st one is what we're looking for. So just here, we go upwards, we add in that number 1, that 21st one, which, yep, that correlates to our one block apart. And we're going to leave a two block apart, just for this literal one section. And this is so that we can add in the ones over the door frame, basically. And then we'll start to do the one space away again, just over here until we reach the other side. Now this is actually quite a fun section, I think. It kind of adds a lot of detail and uh, texture to the building. If we kind of just left it all plain and, you know, very, very, it almost, this white terracotta almost looks grey. So if we just kind of kept it here, it'd just be like a massive warehouse on your world. You don't really want that. So we're just kind of making it look nicer. There you go. That takes us to the edge of the building over this side. And now under every single one of these fences, we take light grey glass panes, stained glass panes, right the way to the floor. And that just adds like a drainage pipe or some type of detail on the side of the building there and that is on the real building as well which is pretty cool. We also do this on the front side. 
But for the front, we're going to firstly start with a lightning rod. We're going to take a lightning rod over here and we're going to use this as a drainage pipe. This will go in the middle of these three. We'll build this one from the floor, going upwards, and it stops just there before the top of the block. Well, literally in the top of the block. <laughs> there are going to be, again, our fences a block away from one another, but they're going to be directly next to the lightning rod. So we'll just do two just here, and then we'll do them a space away. So here, Assassins, unfortunately, my PlayStation recording decided to skip a little bit, uh, so the commentary is a little bit buggy under this recording. However, the build is the exact same. We don't do anything different off camera. Um, we just added another fence off uh, one block away from the previous ones, uh, and then we add the glass in. Let's go for it. After the next one, so on this one, we start to build it because it has the space below. So as soon as you have the gap for the, the glass to go in, that's when you start adding the glass in. What's cool about these is they should match up to the fire escape doors. So when it comes to the next fire escape, which is, oh, we passed it. It's just here. We should be able to build them up and match them up, which we can. Perfect. And that will be the same with the other one. And it will be the same with every single gap that we've left for this. So it really does make sense. You know when I say in tutorials like, oh, we'll keep this and then we'll need to use it later for reference. This is exactly what I mean because all of these now will end up fitting in the right slots because we made the slots for them and now we know they're in the right spot. So it's really, really good, really, really useful. So yeah, guys, if you want to add in your glass below every single one of these fences, uh, going after this one, remember, so to the right, going this way, and then, of course, add in your glass on the back wall as well on every single fence that is available, including these two, then you just go straight down, you just leave that two block gap in between them. So yeah guys, go for it, and then we can uh, do one final thing today, and that is where we're going to have to end off today. But good stuff. Alright then Assassin, so now we have this wall done over here. One thing I forgot to mention by the way, we don't put fences just above the door there, that was completely my bad. We kind of just leave the door frame nice and empty there, if I show you on the original one. Uh, it's literally just empty and, you know, the glass is still on the other side, continuing the same layer. It just, um, you know, finishes it all up nicely for us and then we don't have to worry about it. Okay then, so the final thing to do today is to take your polished dorite slab and just go around your rectangular per perimeter to uh, kind of finish up the roof here. So all around this entire rectangle, we just add in some nice slabs and kind of complete up this area. Now how I'm going to teach myself to build this again, because it was quite a while ago now, and I've mostly forgotten how to do it, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to go ahead and destroy the roof of my original one um, off camera. And then I'm going to look, look at a kind of bird's eye view of the whole thing. And that should help me to uh, to figure it all out. Hopefully, unless I destroy anything on the inside, which might be a problem. So we'll have to see. But it's going to be fine. And there we go. And well, there we have it, Assassins. That has been episode one of how to build the rink o -mania from Stranger Things Season 4 and in Minecraft. Thank you so much for joining me for this very long first part. I know it's probably been quite troublesome. But I really do appreciate your patience and your time in building this one. And if we look at our progress so far, I mean, this is like an epic. Literally, epic is like a word meant for things that are massive, and this is massive. Uh, it is definitely a lot of work to be done. Lots of off-camera work as well, because it's quite repetitive uh, on the exterior. But now we are on to the interior, and this, in this main entrance area too. So it's all going to be fun and games from now on. There is a lot to do, not going to lie, but um, it will be quite a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, this is all to come in the next episodes and so on and so forth. So if you did enjoy this one, guys, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would really help me out so much. And it also gets this video recommended to more Stranger Things fans out there on YouTube. So please go ahead and help me uh, try and find those people. And also, if you're interested in staying tuned for episode 2 coming soon or part 2, please consider joining the Assassin of today for free by subscribing. And if you're on social media, so am I. You can check out all of my links in the description below. And that'll keep you up to date with when videos are going to be dropping, when uh, new things are going to be uh, released and whatnot. And um, yeah, you'll just be able to see it all over on those. So please check them out. Until the next time, guys, have an excellent rest of your day. Stay safe, eat plenty, and I will speak to you very shortly. Goodbye for now, Assassins. Thank you once again.